the first thing that I finished was Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka was born in 1883 in Prague, where he lived most of his life. During his lifetime, he published only a few short stories, including The Metamorphosis, The Judgment, and The Stoker. He died in 1924 before completing any of his full-length novels. At the end of his life, Kafka asked his lifelong friend and literary executor, Max Broad, to burn all of his unpublished work, but Broad overrode his wishes. I didn't know any of That's that. That's dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> that is very dramatic. <laughs> so I have read The Metamorphosis before. This is a reread. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't added it to my spreadsheet yet, but I'm excited to add another reread to the yeah, spreadsheet. Yeah, got a lot of rereads. this year is crazy for rereads. Yeah. Um, it's great. It's really good. Hmm. Really, really good. I guess it is a short story and not a novella, but at what point do we call something? What do you think? I would say, think to me, anything point? that's like longer than 40 to 50 pages like that's even like a really long short story like i i would even i don't know yeah i would say anything like longer than 40 maybe i would call a novella i agree this is 77 pages that's pretty long um this is a short like a mini book but i think even in a tall book it would be i mean you can make like a whole book out pages. of it which i think yeah. says something they, well, i will say they added two stories oh okay this. okay yeah but it's it takes up more than half Anyways, anyways, that doesn't matter, I suppose. <laughs> I read this because it was the next book for my little book club mm -hmm. that I've been doing with my brother and his two best friends and Connor. And we met last night about it. And it was really a great time. Damn, I'm loving this book club. <laughs> <laughs> I take back everything I've ever said about book clubs. Um, we're really enjoying it. So the conversation was really fun. And it was really interesting talking about this book because with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, we all loved it. Mm. With Of Mice and Men, we all loved it. With Metamorphosis, there was more of a mix. Okay. Nobody, nobody hated it. Nobody was like passionately against it. I liked it. Connor liked it. One of the other people loved it. Mm. CJ kind of didn't like it. Okay. And uh, the other best friend also sort of didn't like it. So the, like there was this real mix of elements That's going good. on. I love that. Uh, yeah. So that was interesting discussion wise. It w had a different vibe to how our other discussions have gone. Um, if you don't know, this is about a guy who wakes up and he's a bug. He's disgusting. Have you read it, really? No, I haven't, actually. I've been meaning to. Oh, but I'd be curious what you think about it. Let me read you the first um, line. When Gregor Samsa awoke one morning from troubled dreams, he found himself changed into a monstrous cockroach in his bed. So mm. the first line is actually quite controversial because um, it's translated so differently. Oh. So this version says... A monstrous cockroach other versions say horrible vermin Ooh. others say monstrous insect but apparently in the original german it doesn't say cockroach even though hmm. a lot of english versions specifically say cockroach okay so you don't um, actually know what kind of bug he is we don't actually know okay. what kind of bug he is which is interesting um here is <laughs> The tragedy of the book. What, what? It's so funny. It's so weird. Is that like, he's not worried about having turned into this horrible bug. What he's really worried about is like, he can't get to work. <laughs> and he's like, God damn, if, if everyone could just give me a few minutes, I'll get changed. And I could still make the eight o'clock train. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, dude, you're a bug. <laughs> like, wake up. And this is what's so fascinating about um, Kafka as a writer, mm. I was really interested in like, have you, have you heard the term Kafka-esque? Of course, but I've never known yeah. what it means. Yeah, it's kind of, it's one of those cool words like Orwellian mm -hmm. that comes from an author's name. Uh, maybe I'll just read exactly what, let's see, Miriam Webster. We can trust Miriam. <laughs> Kafka-esque of relating to or suggestive, suggestive of Franz Kafka or his writings, especially having a nightmarishly complex, bizarre or mm -hmm. illogical quality, especially with bureaucratic delays. Okay. Yeah. So it's very much like, do you remember in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the episode where 
Amy Santiago goes to file a form and the person's like, sorry, you need to file this other form oh, before yeah. you can file that form. And she's like, okay. So she files that other form and they're like, oh, sorry, you need this stamp of approval. And it's like, okay, how do I get that stamp? By filing this other form. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do I file that other form? Well, you can't. It doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> and it's like, that is Kafka-esque. Yeah, the fact that yeah. she's stuck in a bureaucratic hell of like, that's just so inhumane. Mm -hmm. The fact that like in this book, the, f the first thing he's worried about is that his alarm clock didn't go off. Yeah. He's like not worried that he's a bug. He's right. worried that he can't get to work. It's so inhumane and and, and stressful. It's oh, so fascinating. That is really interesting. Really, really cool. And you know what that's making me realize? A lot of my bad dreams are Kafka-esque. Uh... <laughs> that happens to me a lot. A lot of my dreams are I'm like, oh, uh, I woke up late. I need to get to work. I should really get to work. And then I like get distracted and I'm like, oh no, now it's Ooh. noon. I should really get to work. And I'm like, I just keep like doing, it's really weird. That happens to That's me a lot so of my dreams. That's so stressful. Yeah. It's not nice. That's so... <laughs> <laughs> but now I know they're Kafkaesque. Wow. Yeah. A nightmare world. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fascinating. But I really enjoyed the book. I think it's great. It's not like, I don't know, some authors and, and writing styles just totally click mm. with people you know yeah. and like when i read orwell it's just i think so genius and perfect and it, it works so well in my mind that's like when i read the bell jar i'm like oh my god yeah. when i read kafka i don't feel that same like oh yeah Whoa. A little bit it doesn't no, it doesn't bowl me over but i do really respect and enjoy it okay. and i think it's so i i get why it's a part of the canon mm. it's fascinating <laughs> <laughs>